down here at IRI, team number 3707, the Brighton Techno Dogs. What a fantastic team. Of course, world champions this year also won two district events out of Michigan. Uh, so here with Aaron, Jacob, and Jacob, and we're going to be talking a little bit more about, of course, their, uh, their big suction climb, uh, cool intakes as well, and of course, their dirty swerve here on behind the bumper. So uh, let's start out here. Looks like you got a hatch in your hand, so you're going to be talking a little bit about our hatch shake mechanism, I'm assuming. Yes. So our hatch mechanism is on the front of the robot. Um, and it can extend and it has these two wings on the outside that keep it from going side to side when we're uh, angled and then we have a back plate so when we push back and then these fingers pull back against the plate and then hold it tight so it can spin but it is nice and firm on there um, so it's all controlled with one cylinder in the back here um, the wings are connected to this sliding piece so when we uh, release a hatch when we it actually thrusts it forward with one pneumatic cylinder, which is pretty nice. And then we also have a button on the back, so when this disc gets hit, it will actually autogram. So you want to do autogram? It'll go to the right height, and then we press the button. I think, or not. <laughs> you want to grab it? There we go. Sorry, it wasn't activated. But yeah, he'll prime it, and then it'll actually pull it in, so we'll go in. Um, so that's how the hatch work. Um, you want to do that? Very good, and coming up next, we have a big suction climber on the back end that's been so great for you guys. Tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, so the suction plate idea we actually borrowed from Team 2767 Strike Force, but everything else we had to build ourselves. So our main issue was we couldn't apply enough pressure to the pad to get it to suck down. So we came up with this locking mechanism where these two bars will fall down and get stuck into some notches. So you can't pull it up right now, and we can drive it down and create the suction we, we need. During a match, we have it held up with this. We have a lot of strings on it that will pull us up after the match, so our bumpers are actually above HAB3. Uh, we run it off of a modified vein pump. Can you spin the robot or? Okay. So our vein pump, we pull suction through. We have a vacuum sensor and a one-way valve in there. So we can tell on the driver's station when we actually have suction, so they're ready to climb. And it's been really useful for us. Uh, and last up, I got to ask you about here because uh, we have uh, our host on our Michigan shows always talk about your guys' dirty swerve. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and uh, how that's been successful for you? Yep. Um, so the swerve module works basically by driving each of the wheels independently and each of them has independent angle control. So it allows us to move in any direction and rotate. So like if I'm facing straight forward like this, I can go in any direction and then also rotate the robot while I'm doing that. Overall, it's allowed us to be really maneuverable this year, so it really helped us out a lot. I want to wrap up here, uh, just talk about your World Championship win a little bit. Uh, obviously, get down its final three, down to Einstein. You guys win by just one point, uh, but what a fantastic win it was. Just tell me about what was kind of going through your mind uh, as the anticipation built up and then when you heard that you guys won. Um, so after the match ends, we missed one um, cargo, and I was kind of worried about that because that could have been the difference. And Everyone was trying to count the what was placed on the field to see who might win, but it was so close that no one could tell until the final score came up. So we were all just kind of waiting and really nervous about what's going to happen. And then you guys took it, of course, world champions once again, 3707. Brighton Techno Dogs, congratulations on su such a fantastic season, and good luck next year as well. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.